Greetings television fanatics, Film Holmes here for another rendition of Too Much TV. So as I said in my last video, the Spin City Season 3 review, I was going to talk about a show in this one, the complete series of it, because it only ran for three seasons, where it doesn't really get its due anymore because the DVD sets are unfortunately very hard to find. They're out of print and have been for a long time. I was lucky enough to buy them when they first came out. And even then they were probably like 30 bucks a piece, but thank God I did because the price fluctuates. You know, sometimes you can get them for maybe 40 or 50 a piece and sometimes they're 100 a piece. So if you have them, hang on to them. But I'm glad I have them not because of that, but because it's one of my favorite TV shows ever, one of my favorite comedies on TV ever, and it stars and was created by one of my favorite stand-up comedians ever. And I'm actually talking about the TV show Titus, a show that I feel like doesn't get the due that it deserves. I think it changed a lot when it came to television, and I'm going to talk about it. Now, like I said, there were only three seasons. Seasons one and two were bundled together, season three by itself. So... I wouldn't mind talking about each season individually, I think that's fair, but I'll talk about all of them. So, uh, season one was actually really short, but I'll start there. Let's talk about season one of Titus. Alright, so season one of Titus was only nine episodes, but good god, what a fantastic nine episode run that had. Like, honestly, if it only ran for the one season, it'd still hold up its fantastic comedic television show that was way ahead of its time. Now, I guess I should talk about what the show is about. Uh, the show is about Christopher Titus. He's not a stand-up comedian in this. He is basically just a nobody, a guy who owns his own, uh, I don't know what to call it, like car garage. And he's got a, gr a smoking hot girlfriend who he feels is too good for him, Aaron. He has a really dumb brother, Dave, who he has to help out all the time, and a feminine friend named Tommy. And of course, the MVP of the entire series, Ken Titus, played by Stacy Keach, and one of the best supporting roles ever in comedic television history was Stacy Keach as Ken Titus, which was of course based off Christopher Titus' real life dad, whose name was Ken Titus. And that's basically the show. The show is about dysfunction. This is a dysfunctional group of people. It's a dysfunctional family, and they show the comedic sides of that, but also the dark sides of that as well. Now, season one begins with a fantastic pilot episode called Dad is Dead. And it basically, if you've ever seen Christopher Titus' stand-up, if you haven't, I recommend every single one of his specials. Uh, his first one, Norman Rockwell, was bleeding, which is what the first episode was based on. And a lot of the jokes from that, you know, come out throughout the series. But if you watch Norman Rockwell is bleeding, and this is in Christopher Titus' own words, he basically, or they basically raped that show to write the pilot because it's almost word for word a lot of it but it's that good they should do that and it works really well it transfers well to this pilot for tv but it sets up all the characters very well uh tommy D david uh or dave uh even papa titus ken titus aaron titus himself it sets up all the characters really well and it shows what what the series is going to be and what was really cool about it it shows the thoughts in Christopher Titus's mind in what's called a neutral space. It's this uh, black and white space in his mind, and every episode he clicks on the light, like in his mind to start the episode. It was very, very clever, and I'm sure it's been done, I don't know if it was done before that or since. I'm sure it has a little bit, but it fit perfectly into this show. It really did. But the first episode is one of the greatest pilots you will ever see. I mean, Ken Titus doesn't even enter the episode till the very end of it. He's built up and built up and built up in flashbacks, and then when you see him, he lives up to everything you expected, and boom, you have one of the best characters ever in TV history with Ken Titus. And the rest of the season is really good, and it, it, it sometimes gets a little bit dark, but like, I don't know if it's the episode after or close to it, Red Asphalt, where... Uh, they're going, they're driving to Canada for Ken's birthday to go to this restaurant and they get into a tough with this other motorist who eventually has a gun and fires at him and kind of chases him through the highway. It's dark, but it's done very well. And it's also very funny. That's the thing about this series 
it's done funny. Like, the comedy in it is rarely like, ugh. Like, it will make you laugh out loud, even at kind of the dumb jokes. You know, it's not a normal sitcom. It's far from it, and it was a welcome change to television back in the day. I watched this when it first came out. I watched all three seasons, even when it was hard to find, when Fox was kind of hiding the show so they could cancel it after season three. I would stay up late and I would watch it because I loved it. And it's got a lot of good life lessons, and it really kind of makes you feel good if you have a fucked up life because it's not as bad as these people. Uh, but let me get the diss out so I can be reminded of the episodes. I mean, every episode is great. Uh, one episode that was very different, and even different for nowadays, the breakup between Aaron and Titus. They actually break up, and they end up cheating on each other, which was based off a true story on Titus's real life with his uh, former wife. And it's mainly just those two. It's like watching a two-person play. Dave and Tommy eventually make little cameos, and then uh, Ken Titus is shown through some flashbacks or some little skits, but it's, you know, and it was amazing how good of an actor Christopher Titus was for never really acting that much before. He was just a stand-up comedian, you know, and he shows in that episode how good he is, and it was the first episode he wrote himself fully, and he just fucking knocked it out of the park. Um... Uh, Red Asphalt was on season two, but just great stuff. It introduces introduces mom. I'm sorry, uh, Christopher Titus's crazy ass mom, Juanita. Uh, I don't know the act actress's name. The mom was played by three different actresses throughout the series, and uh, this one, the first one, and they all do really good jobs. I don't really like the one in the third season. I don't think she she didn't do nearly as well as the first two, but it is what it is. And, you know, these nine episodes, every episode, oh, the intervention episode where their dad stops drinking, Ken Titus, and they try to convince him to drink again because he's much more fun as an alcoholic, basically. And you would think that's not funny, and it is fucking hilarious. It's so well done and so clever. And the way the season ends, kind of on a cliffhanger with Titus's dad, I won't ruin that. Very, very funny. The first episode is gold from beginning to end. But it is only nine episodes. Of course, the show was picked up for a second season. And that's what I'm going to talk about next. Season two of Titus. Okay, season two of Titus was the normal sitcom length. You know, 22 or 24 episodes, I can't remember. And by far, it's the best season of Titus, because you get so much. Uh, I mean, season one is amazing. Season two, I mean, I can't think of really any episodes that aren't good. Every episode, even the ones that, you know, just don't... I don't know, it, it's hard to explain. It's, it's so funny how a show that could be this dark, uh, but also so clever and so funny, could, could be a sitcom. A show like this nowadays would probably be something on, like, HBO. I don't think it would work on network television. Uh, and it, it probably didn't work back then, even though it was a big hit, because it was so different. But to this day, the show stands out because it's never been done like this before. And hope, I kind of hope it never is again, and it probably will never be again. But this season, you know, the season starts, and Ken and Christopher have to you know, kind of make amends over what happened at the end of season one. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. It, it's just so many great episodes, so much fun. Uh, some favorite episodes, uh, What's Up Hollywood, where he finally gets a compliment from his dad. Or Titus finally gets a compliment from Ken about a car he built him. Uh, and then... Ken gets pulled over for drunk driving. He blames the car, blames Christopher. I love that episode. The Perfect Thanksgiving was hilarious because it shows Aaron's crazy-ass family. That's even crazier than tied to, uh, Christopher's family and Christopher's family getting together for Thanksgiving. What do you think is going to happen? Everything's going to get all fucked up. So damn funny. Um, Ken, like, gets engaged and falls in love with uh, his nurse after he was in the hospital. That She's hilarious. That's really funny. Uh, the Last Noel, that's a really clever episode uh, about a woman who just used to punch Christopher in the face and beat the shit out of him, but he stayed with her because she was so hot. <laughs> and it's just a 
clever, clever episode based off another true story from Titus's life. And he gets to kind of kill her off in the series, I guess, in revenge in a way <laughs> over what she did in real life, which is pretty funny. Um, the only thing is, I think they jump the gun. There is uh, some episodes towards the end of Disc 4 where Titus and Tommy and Dave, who run the Titus car garage, they kind of fuck up at a car convention and their business kind of like fails in a way and you know like him and Aaron have it out it's it's they're wonderful wonderful episodes and then he has to win her back because he actually goes back to drinking it's a little dark but very funny and I just think they they pulled the trigger on that a little too soon like that really could have been something that ended a season but for what it, it's great it's still fine um you know, just... Oh, Private Dave, when Dave uh, joins the military because his girlfriend broke up with him, even though she didn't. That was fantastic. Um, the wedding episode, another... That's another uh, example of the series going really dark, where there's actually a murder. <laughs> Again, kind of based off, loosely based off Titus's mom in real life, and that's all I'll say, but it, it's dark, and not really funny and that's the thing season two begins to explore moments that really just aren't funny but it does them well like it it mixes in well with the show and the second mom in this season the second actor she's my favorite I can't remember her name she's been in a bunch of stuff but she is without a doubt my favorite she's wonderful as the mom in this so crazy but so much fun and she's featured a good amount in this I think at least three times, maybe four. Um, and seeing Ken every time he sees Juanita is hilarious, because he's always terrified of her. But that's a good episode. And then the ending, I love the last episode of the season, or what was supposed to be the last episode of the season, when uh, <laughs> uh, Titus gets into a car accident at a car show. It's very dark, very upsetting. And then it shows the aftermath of that, and they have to like take him off life support. And of course he survives, you know that. But I thought that was a great way to end the season, and it was very well done. One of my favorite episodes of the series. And I could talk about each episode individually, because, again, there's not an episode I don't like. Now, I'm not a car guy, and I'm not, like, a racing guy, so the episodes that are kind of about that stuff, I do tend to wonder. My brain does a little bit, because I don't really care. But it's still funny. It's really funny shit. So it keeps me interested. But season two... Uh, it was the only season to be nominated for a Best Comedy Series Emmy Award, and it deserved it because it mixed hilarious writing, great acting, uh, with really dark stuff. And it did that very well. And season two is probably my favorite season. I mean, I kind of count one and two as together, probably just because they're both in the same box set. But season two, fan-fucking-tastic. But now we move on to what's unfortunately the final season in Titus, Season 3. Let's get to it. Alright, Season 3, I've watched a lot less than Seasons 1 and 2. But that's not because it's bad. Far from it. Um, the one thing I will say about Season 3, it is, as always, just brilliant. Brilliant. And on a lot of occasions watching this, it's even more brilliant than seasons one or two. Because they took a lot of chances. Season three did get really, really dark. And I will say sometimes too dark. Uncomfortably dark. Even more so than season two did. It was kind of a, th a theme, you know that it would just get really dark and uncomfortable. But I appreciate the show for that, because fuck it. TV, movies, whatever, it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. It's supposed to make you think. And this season did. And there's so much about this, you know, the Tommy's Not Gay episode, where they finally kind of confront Tommy about, is he gay, is he not gay? And But it also tackles the issue of, you know, gay people in general. And how they're treated and how they're viewed. And, you know, if someone calls someone, and sorry for saying this, but like someone in a hateful way calls someone a fag or a faggot you know, just because they're gay. 
and the show is very, very funny, really funny. And then all of a sudden, Christopher Titus says, I don't remember what year, but like in 1990, whatever, Matthew Shepard was murdered uh, because he was gay. And he was like, two people hung him from a tree and like beat him until he died. And they're like, they killed him because Matthew Shepard was gay? It was pure brilliance and great writing because the show was really, really funny and then it gets serious. And it has a message. And it's it's a great message and I appreciate the show for doing that. You know, and it introduces uh, uh, Titus' sister Shannon. That's really funny. And played, by, played by Elizabeth Berkley. She does a great job. You know, just a lot of really great episodes. I mean, some episodes I don't fully remember. You know, that are not forgettable. But just like, eh, like not as memorable as a lot of season two to me or season one. But you know, Grandma Titus comes in. Uh, God, played by, shit, I can't remember. Cloris Leachman, I believe, if I remember right. Oh, just so damn funny. It does one of my favorite episodes, of season three, er, which is the sound that a younger Titus, when he's a teenager, it's like says about a lot of things. Like I know what I'm doing, er, um, and it shows. Titus back in high school, Aaron back in high school when he's talking to his niece Amy, and it's it's one of my favorite episodes. It's so freaking funny, um, and let's see uh, so much great stuff, a lot of great stuff. Um, I love how the season ended. It ended with you know, just like in real life, it doesn't really spoil anything because if you've seen his stand up, you know it was going to happen. Um, Titus's mom unfortunately did commit suicide as well as eventually his sister did, unfortunately. And she finally does in the show. And he loses it on an airplane, like cries about it, which he did in real life. But in this this time... Uh, sorry, my phone went off. I thought it was on vibrate. Uh, and... I should probably put that on vibrate right now. thought I did. Apologies. Um, and they freak out on an airplane, they get arrested, and they're calling Titus a criminal. But... The way it ends, honestly, was a great ending for the series. It, it wasn't meant to be an ending to the series, but ironically, it worked out really well, and I, I don't want to ruin it, but it, it makes sense for the character of Christopher Titus and the other characters about what happens. And the show only went like 50 episodes, but, you know, and like I said, season three, the only downfall of it is I, I think it just got too dark sometimes. And to me, that's not a bad thing, but I think to a lot of people it was. It went to places that people really didn't want to go to. But again, I praise the show for being brave enough back in the early 2000s to go to these places. When it comes to you know, child abuse, um, really fucked up people with real problems, money problems, drinking problems, drug problems, you know, the family problems that come up. This show tackled everything, mental illness, stuff that's really not funny, and it made it funny, but when it didn't make it funny, it was because it made you think about it. How much better can you get than that? So, there you go. Uh, three seasons of Titus, one of my all-time favorite comedy shows, a show that I can whip out anytime and watch. And if you can get your hands on the DVDs, I do recommend it. And this is a show they do need to re-release. I think Fox has just kind of buried it a little bit uh, because of the falling out between them and Christopher Titus. And they would make a shit ton of money if they do release it, or at least put it on Netflix or Hulu or one of the many streaming apps. You know, just they need to because this show should not be forgotten. Um, It'll make you uncomfortable, it'll make you think, but most of all, it's gonna make you laugh until it hurts. And it's gonna make you probably feel better about your own life, to be honest. But Titus, seasons one, two, and three, the complete series, I give it four and a half out of five. I can't give it a five. Because season three, there was some stuff that, it didn't bother me because of how dark it was, it just, it, uh, it just made me not want to like keep watching and again not because it bothered me it just it didn't hold up as well as like season two it just some episode just kind of left me going eh okay and but it doesn't matter because since the show is they're not gonna be any more episodes ever I'm happy with every episode that I can watch just to see these characters see these scenarios and just enjoy every second of it and I always will 
And like I said, Christopher Titus, if you haven't watched his stand-up, please, please go watch his stand-up. Norman Rockwell was bleeding, the fifth annual End of the World Tour, Love is Evil. Got to see that live, and I got to meet him and get his autograph. Very nice man. He stayed afterward to sign autographs for like four or 500 people, and it took hours, and he still did it. He really appreciates his fans, and we appreciate you, Christopher Titus, and we appreciate this show. And uh, what was after Love, e Love is Evil? Uh, Neverlution, Voice in My Head, Anger Pursuit of Happiness. And hopefully soon, uh, Born with a Defect, I hope that comes out. So see soon, that's his newest one, and he's doing another one after that. He's just... <laughs> the dude just doesn't stop. So, and it's a shame this show had to stop, but it is what it is. Watch it if you can. Um, I hope they re-release it eventually. But I'm Film Holmes. Thank you very much for tuning in again to Too Much TV. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.